What's up, Ready Free Notion? It's Chef, and we're starting a new series today. My work schedule changed, so I get to ride on Sundays now. So we are going to do something I think is going to be pretty cool. I'm excited to do it. Hopefully, y'all like it. But it's going to be Southern Town Tours, and I'm going to start today off showing you around where I live here in the beautiful state of Georgia. So let's ride. town of Social Circle, Georgia is where I call home. Social Circle is a very small, quaint southern town. It is located just off of I-20 on Highway 11 and it is about 30 to 45 minutes east of Atlanta and the Social Circle definitely has that small town southern feel. Definitely a lot of churches. Folks here in the Bible Belt go to church. Not me because I'm out riding. Census population in 2022 measured the population of Social Circle proper at about 5,800 people. So this is where I live. This is Social Circle. This is the whole town. Got a tire shot. We do have one stoplight. And then across the street is one of my favorite places, which is the Ace Hardware, which is a cool place to go. So back in the day, Social Circle was actually won in a lottery by Joel Strickland. And him and his wife, for whatever reason, decided they weren't going to keep the property and they ended up selling it. The uh, property was bought by a second owner, ran into a lot of debt, financial problems, couldn't end up keeping it, and the property of the city was actually sold in a sheriff's auction, and John Blackman bought it for $11, or 13 cents an acre at the time, which might have been a lot of money, but when you think about 13 cents an acre, it's crazy nowadays. It's just unreal. And John Blackman was one of the first people who actually settled the town. He was the first postmaster here in Social Circle and set up a lot of things. Social Circle actually got its name from a bunch of pioneers who traveled in and were remarking on the hospitality of the people that were here. And the story goes, they said, isn't this quite the Social Circle? And the town got its name. Uh, this was actually a city, uh, declared a city in uh, 1932 and obviously is still here today. Like I said, it is a very small town. It is very close knit. Uh, southern country town it's great there's not a lot of stuff here uh, there is literally one stoplight uh, a few places to eat a bunch of nice little stores uh, downtown the riding around here is completely amazing and the city has done a lot of work in the last couple of years to uh, make things nicer from just being kind of uh, old because like I said it is an old settlement so this is the original location of the train station here in Social Circle, and this is kind of a big uh, train town. It was uh, a big thing back in the day. There was actually a Supreme Court case uh, originating from here about uh, freight rates with trains, and uh, it is still a big train area. CSX currently owns this. And uh, recently we just had an issue with Rivian wanting to uh, move into the area of Social Circle in the town next to us called Rutledge. And uh, that finally got shut down. But one of the big things for Rivian to come in here was they wanted to use the uh, rail system as a way to uh, get their stuff to the factory where they were building it at. So a uh, super cool place. CSX still uses it. There are no trains here currently, but they do come in and out all day. This is a very active uh, rail system here in Georgia. 
So this is the Tin Plate, one of our most favorite places to eat here in town. Great food. They do a lot of fun things. They have trivia on Monday night. Uh, they do music bingo on Thursdays, which is a blast. But they do have a chef-inspired menu. If you're in the area, definitely come check it out. And if you're really brave, you can order Trust items. And what that is, is you just say, I want Trust fries or a Trust burger. And the chef puts on it whatever they choose to. So you trust that they give you a good choice. Great place, though. Like I said, if you're in the area, you definitely got to check it out. So living in the north, kind of different. We moved down here. One of the cool things that we found with a lot of southern towns is they have a town green. And basically is a, a green. It's grass. And they have concerts and different events down here. Social Circle definitely has a small one compared to a lot of other cities. But it is a cool area to gather. And uh, like I said, they do movies uh, for kids. They do concerts. Kind of a cool little area. But uh, everybody has a town green. It's kind of the focal point uh, of the town. So one of our other favorite places to eat is Critter's Pizza here in town. Kind of a cool little vibe. Lots of outdoor seating in the uh, covered area that is right there. They have a uh, fireplace. So when it is cooler out, they will uh, light some fires. So you can enjoy your pizza and a beer out here on the patio. Like I said, definitely a good vibe. Mrs. Chef and I love coming here. They have some uh, specialty pizzas. Cold beer is always a favorite. Lots of golf carts down here. Lots of cities have golf cart districts. There's one town in Georgia called Peachtree City, and they have 90 or so miles of golf cart path in the city. Social Circle is definitely an old town if you look at a lot of the architecture in uh, some of these buildings you will definitely see how historic it is. And there's the stoplight, one stoplight town. Like I said, very historic, cool place. Very quiet, very peaceful, very safe area. Good school systems. And that well is a very focal point of the town. Rumor has it back in the day, people would gather around the well and socialize. So obviously not the original well. Original well Obviously has been well used, been taken out by cars a few times. I know they just rebuilt that and made that a replica, but supposedly it is standing in the same place that it has always stood here in the middle of town. So this is the single stoplight in town, old historic gas station. They just rebuilt the bank. This is a much older place, so looks nice and new. With our police department and our fire department. Lots of old historic homes here in the downtown district. So I hope you like the town part, and I'm definitely going to show you something cool just on the uh, outside of town. So we're going to go do some exploring together. So 
we are in the Hard Labor Creek State Park here in Georgia. They have a beautiful golf course, uh, a whole bunch of equestrian trails. Georgia's a big horse state. Uh, camping, beach, boat launch, lots of stuff going on. <laughs> said guys the riding around here is just impeccable just beautiful country roads nice sweeping turns some hills beautiful farmland lots of American flags which this channel appreciates significantly very minimal traffic man it's just absolutely gorgeous the Sun is shining it is great to be out riding and exploring. Guys, I just want to say thank you for watching this video and hanging out with me and riding around my town where I live. Like I said, we're starting a new series, Southern Town Tours. I'm going to show you guys the south. I'm going to be doing some different rides. Next weekend, going to be an epic ride. Going to be riding with some friends, and we're going to go out and explore a little further away. But I wanted to start this series out with my tiny little town. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, thank you for stopping by and taking the time out of your day to hang out with me and watch the video. As always, guys, live life to the most. Get out and enjoy riding. Have some fun. Make the most of that dash between the two years that go on your headstone. And as always, let's thank those that allow us to be out and enjoying what we do riding free. Until next time, we'll catch you later.